Hey guys and welcome to Gone to series. My name is Ankush Gaurav and I'll be taking you through the Hibernate series of tutorials. So far in Hibernate series, we learnt about all basic concepts. We learnt about Hibernate configuration file and we created our first Hibernate project. And then we saw few of the important annotations provided by Hibernate framework. Now we are all set to learn all of its advanced features. Let's start with one to one mapping. So before I go and hit demo and start explaining everything, first question is what is one to one mapping or relationship in general and how is it related to Hibernate? Any two tables in database say A and B are said to have a one to one relationship between them if each row in table A is linked to another row in table B and the number of rows in table A is equal to the number of rows in table B. For example, let's say you have two tables student and student detail. So here it's but obvious that every student record would have its detail captured in student detail table. The number of records which are present in student table is always equal to the number of records which are present in student detail table. So if we observe here student ID is a common column in both tables and student ID in student detail table is linked to student ID in student table such that it will hold only values of student ID which are there in student table. So this is a good example of one to one mapping. In terms of database you establish one to one relationship using foreign key references or constraints. For example here student ID in student detail table is a foreign key reference of student ID in student table. So because of this constraint present in student detail table for student ID, this table is going to accept only those values of student ID which are present in student table. So this table is not going to accept any values of student ID other than which are present in student table. Now, how do we represent such a relationship or mapping in Java model classes in Hibernate? That's the question. And that's what we're going to learn in this tutorial. That is one to one mapping in Hibernate. So now that we have learned one to one mapping in general, let's hit this demo to understand more about one to one mapping in Hibernate. For this demo, I'm going to use the same table structures and I've already created these two tables in my database. So let's see what I've done in database. So I've created a student table which is having student ID and student name as columns in it. Student detail table is again having student ID and student mobile number. Just for simplicity sake I've provided here just mobile number. You can have a number of details for the student. And this student ID is having foreign key reference with student ID which is present in student table. So let's go and check back in Eclipse what I've done for one to one mapping. This is the basic setup I've already created for this demo. So let's understand fully what I've done here and then we'll go on understanding how do we establish one to one relationship further. This is student class and this is representing student table in database. And these two properties are representing columns of student table. These are its setters and getters methods. All these annotations I already explained in previous tutorials in Hibernate series. So this ID annotation is telling that student ID is primary key in student table. And this generated value annotation is telling here that Hibernate is going to provide the value of student ID at runtime. Now we have student detail class which is representing student detail table in database and these two properties are representing student detail tables columns and these are its setters and getters and again ID is telling that student ID is a primary key and generated value means that Hibernate is going to provide its value at a runtime and here in Hibernate configuration file I have provided student and student detail classes. So the basic setup for this demo is ready. So now what we're going to do is we would establish one to one relationship between student and student detail table. 
So basically what we're going to do is we're going to establish the same relationship which we have already there in our database. So we have student table which is having student ID as primary key column and we have student detail table which is again having student ID as a primary key column. But here student detail table is having a constraint on its student ID column such that it's going to accept only those values which are present in student table in student ID column. All right. So same relationship one to one relationship we're going to establish in our Java code for student detail class. So let's go and hit that. Hibernate says you can do this in student detail class in Java code with these two simple steps. First step is declare the student class in student detail class along with its setters and getters methods and mark a one to one annotation on top of this declaration like this. Here I have simply put student class as one of the properties with getters and setters methods like I have other properties in student detail class like student id or student mobile number. Now here this one to one annotation is telling just one thing that student detail class is having a one to one relationship with student class. And more specifically, that relationship, that one-to-one -one relationship is with student ID column, which is present in student class. All right. There are further many settings in this one-to-one -one annotations like cascade type or fetch type. So all these different attributes or options in one-to-one, -one, we're going to see when we will run this application. So for now, what we have done is we have just established one to one relationship between student detail and student class that too with student ID column which is present in student and student detail classes. And the second step is about student ID column in student detail table. So here what we have done is we have said that hibernate is going to generate the value of student ID at runtime for student detail table. Now here is a point to pay a little more attention. When we try to save student and student detail records in database at that moment, Hibernate is going to generate the value of student ID, which is there in student table. Now what we want is Hibernate should use the same value for student ID column, which is present in student detail table. So in short, we don't want Hibernate to generate a new value for student ID for student detail table. But we want Hibernate to use the same value which it is going to generate for student ID column in student table. Now how do we do that? So with this simple syntax, I am going to do that. So what I've done here is, here I'm just instructing Hibernate framework that do not generate a new value for student ID column in student detail class or student detail table, but always use the corresponding value of student ID, which is present in student class or student table. So here with all these steps, we have established one to one relationship or mapping between student detail class and student class. Now, only step remaining is to create a main class where we're going to write code for saving records into student and student detail table. Here is the main class. So just to save some time, I've already written this class. Let's go through this class. So here what I'm doing is I'm creating student object, then student detail object. And this is an important step, which we just going to see. Here is the regular code which we use for getting session factory in case of Hibernate. And here what we are doing is we are trying to save student detail object. But after running this program, we would observe that this step is going to insert records into both tables, student and student detail. So thing to notice, we are just saving student detail record, but Hibernate is going to insert records in both tables, that is student and student detail. And that's the magic that we have provided here using one-to-one -one mapping. So this step is actually doing this job. So with one-to-one -one mapping here, we have provided student property in student detail table. So here in this step, 
after creating these two objects what we need to do is we need to set the student property of student detail plus with student object which we have just created and while saving student detail object into the database hibernate is also going to save this student object into the database and for this student object hibernate is going to generate the value of student id and same id hibernate is going to use while saving record into student detail object so let's run this main class and check the output run run application so here it has inserted records into student and student detail table let's check back in our database what it has inserted so these are our database tables so in student table hibernate has inserted gone to a name and generated the value of student id as one and if you look at our student detail table hibernate has inserted the same id which it has generated for student table and put the corresponding mobile number in it so this is what we can do with one-to-one -one mapping what I'm going to do in next tutorial is I'm going to talk more on one-to-one -one mappings in Hibernate. I'm going to discuss about what is unidirectional and bidirectional one-to-one -one mappings in Hibernate and some more concepts which are really important to understand in case of one-to-one -one mapping in Hibernate. Guys, a big thank you for liking my tutorials. Your comments and feedback make me upload more and more tutorials. So please go on doing that. And please like this video if it has really helped you. And I'm going to catch you in my next tutorial in this Hibernate series.